Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here. It is a beautiful day today here in Missouri and I decided I need to hit a different creek near my house and look for some geodes today because it's been a while. We've had so much rain. I'm sure there's going to be good stuff there. So come along with me. Let's see what we find. And this video is more of the Missouri Burlington formation with lots of cool geodes, lots of cool fossils, and fossils that are turning into geodes. And here we are. Let's see what the creek holds for us today. I haven't been here in a while, but my buddy Sherry has been out here finding some awesome stuff. So I'm sure I'm going to find something good. And I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. We'll have to try not to fall in the water here. Ugh. That's slippery. I'm going to walk down the creek here and see what I find. All right, very first find. Hope this bodes well. Ah, ooh, it's bigger than I thought. I think that's a horn coral fossil there. across the water here. Wow, look at this. Oh, wow. Somebody must have left this here. All right, thank you whoever left this very nice geode for me. It's the first one I found today. All right, cool. It's a good sign. I think this is a geodized horn coral fossil. The quartz expands kind of like water when it freezes and blows up the original fossil like a balloon. Okay, actually spotted one. Piece of one anyway. It's kind of cool. We'll do another one over here. Finding that one on that rock. Ooh, almost feels like cheating. I'm sure somebody left that for me. Let's see, should I keep these ones? I don't know. I guess I'll keep this one. It has good crystals. Alright, at first I didn't think I was going to find many, but the longer I look, there's one. Nice whole one. I'll throw that one in the bucket. Alright, so that water is deep. Rock hounding pro tip. You might want to rethink it. I'm going to go up here on the bank and walk around hopefully not walk through too much poison ivy walk past these pretty flowers Ooh. try not to trip over them okay I see footprints so people were here before me recently i wonder if sherry left that geode on that log okay yeah, I think this was a better option than trying to wade through. That was pretty deep. I don't want to fall in with the camera. That would be sad. Whoa, whoa. Some giant tadpoles down there. So, the water, like, carved out this little channel here. This is kind of new. I bet if I look around here, yep. Here's one. Kind of an interesting shaped one. Alright, almost stepped right over that one. That one was hiding. Is it worth picking up? Yeah, I think so. Has that and cool? here's that one all cleaned up. Some of that Beakite Chalcedony, definitely worth picking up. And another cool one that I found that was really windy, so I don't have footage. I love the uh, brown crystals on this one. Alright, so just spotted this little guy here that's still got some uh, 
limestone and calcite matrix on it. And as I'm looking around here, spotting all kinds of good stuff, I found this really cool crinoid fossil. It's kind of in a big piece, so it's kind of heavy. That's solid chert. I don't know if I'm going to take that. And then get all the crinoid fossils there. There's a ton of them in that rock. There is just cool stuff as I'm looking around here. Spotted a piece of a geode here. And then there were some more over here. I looked away and then I lost them. Ah, here's one. Ah. I don't know if that one is good enough to take. I thought I saw another one here too. I don't know. It's too hard to hold the camera and keep track of everything as I find it. Ooh, here's another piece of one. Or just a small one. Tons of crinoid fossils. There's lots of cool rocks here. So I didn't take any of the bigger crinoid fossils, but I did take this smaller one with Druzy inside. Alright, so I found a few more things here. Found this cool fossil rock. It's got crinoids and a big old brachiopod in there. And this broken geode piece. This will clean up nice and iron out. There's lots of crystals inside there. And just as I'm kind of sitting here, found another nice little nodule. And then there's one here. Let's see what's going on with this one. All right, it's broken. Go rinse that off, see what that's all about. Okay, all right, that has some decent crystals inside. Filled up my small bucket, so I'm working on the big one here. And here's what that one looked like, all cleaned up. Pretty cool inside. And the other little nodule that I found there cleaned up awesome as well. And I'm gonna turn it around here at the end of this gravel bar. I just found this nice horn coral fossil, which I'll probably have to show you a picture of because light is not on my side. And I spotted another geode here. No, oh yeah, this one's worth taking, it's cool. And here's that geode all cleaned up. That cleaned up awesome, I think. And that horn coral was still hard to photograph even. I think it's starting to turn to beakite. All right, so I just turned around. Right up there is that little gravel bar that I just showed. And look at this. How did I pass this up? Ah, oh, oh yeah. That is going to be epic. Okay, all right. I can go home happy now. This is, this is going to be really awesome. Woohoo! All right. Now for the long, heavy walk back. So I'm not sure, but I think this is a geodized crinoid calyx. The crinoid calyx is the part of the crinoid that attached to the top of the stem where the arms would be and the mouth that the animal would feed with. Here's some stems. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's cool though. It has crystals on both ends of it. It's an awesome find. And now I'm just gonna let you enjoy the creek for a second and then we'll head back to my house to check out some of those cool geodes. And fossils. Okay, sprayed off everything that I found today with the pressure washer. Got some cool fossils here. And some of these geodes that are filled with calcite may try to dissolve that with muriatic acid later. And these guys, I'm going to soak and iron out. It is going to be an amazing change on some of these. Like all this black stuff is going to go away. So stay tuned for that. These are going to be beautiful. 
I really thought that the before and after on this one was particularly impressive. This is after only about five minutes in the iron out. Wow. All right, and for my final trick with these, I'm gonna take some of these ones that are loaded with calcite or some that are still in the matrix and I'm gonna soak these in muriatic acid. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. It's really super light, but I think it's quartz, so hopefully it won't dissolve. And there's gonna be some major changes to these. It's probably gonna take a while with the muriatic acid, so I'm probably gonna leave them in there overnight, but it's gonna be cool. All right, here we go. Yeah. It is fizzing up. All right, finish soaking. Just ignore the watermelons and the large watermelon druzy in the background. These ones in the box here are my favorites of the ones I soaked. Some of the other ones and some of the ones I didn't soak are over here. I think these turned out pretty cool. I think this one may be a geodized brachiopod. I think a lot of these formed as fossils. Like I think this one was probably a horn coral at one time. I don't know. This is a definite brachiopod fossil. What do you think? Do these guys look similar? I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. Some of these are really cool, like they formed partly open. This one is really cool. All kinds of cool stuff going on there. And this one that was really black, that turned white like immediately, like within five minutes of being in the iron out. But I left it in there for like a day. Got some black buildup on some of these, but apparently if you uh, just leave those sit out in the rain, that black buildup will come off, so. That's a little helpful tip for you guys if you're using iron out and you get that black stuff. These are the real stars of the show though. These are the ones that I soaked in muriatic acid. Look at that. Look at all the cool crystals it revealed. This one's really cool too. Some double terminated crystals popped out of some of these. This one was a real surprise. We have a uh, limonite pseudomorph after pyrite on this one that was revealed after I soaked some of the limestone off. So that was really cool. The one that I was worried may not turn out, turned out awesome. I'm not sure what kind of fossil this originally was, but I think that was definitely a fossil. And uh, some of these like have these weird arch type things going. So the muriatic acid was definitely a good idea. And I may be doing some more with these in the future. This one rattles. So that's exciting. And those are the geodes. And the cool fossils. Rock on everybody, thanks for watching. And to finish it, here's a few of my favorites. This is the largest one that was totally full of calcite. All that's gone now, and you can see these really cool double terminated quartz crystals. This one too, very different from what I'm used to at Haunted Ridge. Um, this one is really cool. It has kind of a pink color and kind of crystal arch features. I'm really curious how that formed. That's just how it dissolved out. The limonite pseudomorph after pyrite on this one was a big surprise. That's definitely pyrite and not marcasite. You can tell by the cube structure. Lots of cool fossils here and on this piece proof that they do form geodes. There's one starting to form inside of some of those fossils. This horn coral fossil was just epic and this geode that formed partially open was just a bizarre mystery.